But Jumanji 3 is happening. Can we talk about that in our featured story, everybody, of the night? Jumanji, 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 roll those dice. Jumanji 3 is coming, everybody. That's right. On December 11th. What, GR? I think it's actually Jumanji 4. Well, technically, a lot of ways it's four, but based on the reboot, redo, remake, we're at three. We're at Jumanji three with The Rock, Kevin Hart, Jack Black. You know, we got Karen Gillian here. They're all coming back. Well, they're in negotiations early for Jumanji three, but we got a date. So we set the date, December eleventh, twenty twenty six, right between the new Star Wars movie, which nobody's actually talking about too much about on Wednesday, the Ray movie. That's happening that time. We got Dune three on, on December eighteenth, that same month. You got a bunch of movies happening, but Jumanji three is happening, and you know these guys are coming back. The Rock's coming back. Dwayne Johnson is smack down this shit in the jungle. He's gonna do it. You got. Kevin Hart, of course, if The Rock's there, Kevin Hart's there. They're like best friends. They're, you know, playing skee ball on the weekends. They're together. You know, Jack Black, what's he doing, guys? He's fucking, the D's broken up. He's here for this shit. Of course this is happening. Jumanji 3 is moving forward. That cast will be back. I love the first two. Welcome to the Jungle was great. It's a playoff of, again, Guns N' Roses, of course. Uh, I wish Robin Williams was still alive. So, fucking R.I.P., man. I love you, Robin Williams. R.I.P. Yes. I met Robin Williams. One time, Juilliard, the Juilliard graduate, dude, he was great. I met him one time on the crazy ones. I worked in the crazy ones, and uh, and he was great. Like I was standing in, so you know, second team, if you will. Uh, but he's like, oh, second team, second team, second team, second team, oh, second team, oh, the team. You know what I mean? You uh, met uh, him. Yes, yes, pretty, I did. I met Robin Williams. Robin Williams impression. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know, I, I Actually, met a lot is, of people. Is that, got, is that where you got your outro, Brian? <laughs> You're like, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 barbecuing in the backyard. Oh, the chillers are great. They're great. Oh, some fantastic creatures. Oh, they're great. Fucking great creatures. Oh, great cocaine. But I, I love Robin Williams. He's a great person, and he was a fantastic. I mean, the little bit I worked with him, I worked for like a week on the crazy ones at the very end of the season, and he seemed like the man I saw on TV. And movies that made me like, oh man, tantalized as a child. You know what I mean? Nice was, you, was he nice to you? Hundred percent. He was the nicest man in the world. Fucking nicest person in the world. You know? And everybody else on that crew, but he carried that. He carried that show on his back. He was the man that made that show happen. And when he passed away, I was very sad. And here's and the point. Lives on. Be nice he, to you. He he to be I got to meet him one time, and he was everything wrong. Brian was saying. There is, I never met anybody that was funny or just to say hello to him. And it was like, say hello. And it was, he was off. You know, he yeah. could, he could turn that into a 20 minute skit. Easily, easily, GR. He was a sweetheart. He was the man uh, for a reason. And we all loved him for a reason. And I'm happy that this franchise is moving forward based off what he started back in the 90s. And but I loved that as a child. And when I connect it to previous things, like he did not have to be nice to you according to onset protocol, whatever. He could have ignored you and his he job was the same. And the movie would have been just as good. But instead, he chose to be uh, super cool. And the man, the myth, the legend to you right when i was in college in new york i never met him but we were walking past a, a set that he was shooting on and you know what he did he looked at us this was from a second story window he looked at all these college students and he went like this he goes yeah uh, what did that mean maybe nothing doesn't matter but i still remember this 20 years later and the point is when he you saw you jonathan he saw you when you're nice to people, it affects them. When you're not nice to people or you abuse them, it affects them. And what's sad is the people who are super nice, like Robin Williams, they're gone. Yep. That's the best. I'll tell you this, though. You're quite talented, this man, and when he started again, and I love that story, Jonathan. I love that story. I'm sorry I abused the fucking clap button, Mike, but I love it. Uh, but I, All right, abuse I, 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 okay. We're deep into the night, guys. We're at the two-hour mark. We're late for a cruise control. It is Friday. We appreciate you. Love you. And we're happy. 246 are you still here. Uh, uh, Mike, Jumanji 3. 
we've done a lot with this, right? We've done the original, we've done two spin-offs, we went to the jungle, we had the cartridge popped into the video game, we, we got dove into that, and we switched character parts so the actor had to play different actors. What do we do for the third one? And do you think this will be as huge of a success as the last two were, Mike? Your Mike's response, yes. <laughs> Okay, this this seemed funny to me, Jonathan. It might not be. Okay, and this is a warning to everybody in the chat. No pressure at all, Mike. <laughs> Jumanji fast, Jumanji furious. <laughs> oh no, we're done that, Mike. Oh, this no. is the this is the next sequel I want to see. Oh, oh God. Oh, I I don't know. Uh, it's it's Brian is confused in my mind with the uh with the what the the hippo Disney uh ride about being in the tropics and taking a boat ride like you're it's talking all the about same the jungle to me. cruise it's called thank the you. jungle cruise okay, yes thank you yes. sorry I was the rock Disney was in that Land too one time there's the rock was in that movie. too yes, right he was. Yes, right and there and then see and it had jack jack movie. black wearing the pith helmet and everybody's uh having jungle formulations with jungle, each other yeah, yeah. No, no. jungle uh, uh jungle interactions man I don't, I don't know. Once in the they're, jungle, they're pretty, always they're in the pretty jungle. cute. Did they not make you laugh? Did you not? I, I don't think I've seen the... Wait. There's only been two of these? Yeah, two of them. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've also seen the third yeah. one already. So so maybe maybe I'm 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 like beaming at you from some point in the future cuz I I'm pretty sure there's already been four of these, Brad. Um, um, round of applause for Mike popping in from no, the future they're, everybody. They're 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 cute though, right? Like like Kevin Hart, Jack Black, the Rock. They're great. Like, dude, come on. And then it's you know, the background is all colorful. Mike, there's like, your number, Mike, right there. Uh it looks like it looks like E.T.'s foot. Is that is, yeah. three. 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 Okay, it's the three. Yeah. What? Mike, do you want to see this though? Do you want to see this? Will this will, will yeah, work, man. Mike? Yeah. Yeah. Why why would it not? I mean the first the first two made half a billion dollars a piece, I'm sure. Like why would the next one be any different? And and to be to be fair, I do think like okay, at the beginning it was because of nostalgia bringing Jumanji forward, and like we were talking about Robin Williams, just like stolen valor from him. I I guess I don't know if uh, if Jack Black was supposed to be some kind of comedic replacement for the gentleman, uh, but uh, yeah, like you know, it's what what's not to love, kind of. I mean, other than the fact that it's that it's Disney rehashing existing old properties, which is crap and it sucks. Like there's no, it's there's no thing. new ideas, but then, but then also it's like, okay, if that's all we're going to get, like, yeah, give me some charismatic fucks like the rock and Kevin Hart and, and Jack Black, <laughs> like at least make it go down easy. And well, those guys I'll make it go down easy. Redhead, I'll take her. You can have them. GR, tell me, how are you going to take her? Are you excited about don't, she no, I, her? We don't back? want to hear. GR, please. I do. Any, I don't hear. tell us. How are you going to take her, GR? Tell me every detail, <laughs> step by step, so I can write it down. After, right. after hours, because I don't want to get us demonetized. Oh, Damn, yeah, GR. Been there, been That's thirsty as a that. motherfucker. It's true. Hey, Pippi, it is what it is. It's about money, and I want to keep make Brian money, not. But but Gr, okay. Did you, did you see that? Do you see the, the the original two reboots of this? And do you think that what that team up is will be detrimental and amazing to make a new version of Jumanji? The first one is incredible because of who was in it. The last two were very, very good. Like this scene alone, yeah, boom, yeah, yeah. They're but, great team up, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The last one was not as good. I, I, I'm very, very curious to see where they take it. What do they do, Gr? What do they do? Because they won the game. They switched characters last time. They're still in the jungle. What, 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 what do they do? Do they do the? Do they do the original one again? Where they come into the real world? Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. I mean, it'd be, it'd be a better take than the last one. The changing characters, you know, was kind of weird. <laughs> it gave, it gave, it gave the actors a chance to act, though, GR. 100%. I'm with him. I'm with him. I agree. I agree. Well, I agree. Okay, you I agree. want to be weird? Okay, be weird, honey. But you it's gotta, a fra- <laughs> Honey. <laughs> honey. <laughs> Diddy is done. Peppy, we know Diddy's done. We're done with the Diddy conversation. Uh, 
Jonathan, <laughs> let's be weird. Help it. Hey, hey, listen. I agree a hundred percent with G. I can see a little twinkle in your eye. Yeah, it, it's a big old twinkle because the first one, the first one, the first Jumanji was magnificent. You know why? It wasn't about uh, uh, avatars. It wasn't about these superstars playing the kids. It was about the kids having a relationship with each other and about Robin Williams at that point, having a relationship with the kids and then trying to salvage or, or uh, reclaim that relationship with his parents that never happened. That was action and adventure, but also a tragedy, a drama as we might call it. The second, well, I think it's the second, the, the next one years later, now the kids were avatars avatars by definition are somewhat removed from the real person that's why and it was funny don't get me wrong it was funny but that's why some of the characters could die and then bounce back and be like stop doing that right because that's funny you're an avatar but in the first one it was like if you die you're dead and this guy hasn't seen his parents for 30 years and now he's he's stomping through the house calling mom dad are you here we have changed i'm always going to go this way uh, i swear to god 10 more seconds we have changed in terms of what we consider to be dramatic and interesting and attention grabbing the first jumanji that was that had some really sad moments the second one we're all avatars so who cares let's just survive long enough for round three and now that round Which three is available um cool it's gonna be fun it's gonna make us a shit ton of money i don't think the stakes are as high as they used to be that's the end of my my thing here but also i love what gr said and uh that's the end for me he's very he's very he's very thirsty that gr it's been a long night but he's, he's got you got the touch you got the power for like a week i was calling him the parched papa because i couldn't remember how you described him hey, like, parched, parched papa doesn't it doesn't have the same ring to it, but I know it's something yeah. that's similar to that. No, no, Thirsty Daddy. Thirsty I'm watching you, GR. I got my eyes on you, and I got four of them. The feisty yeah, father. Keep your head out of your ass, and you won't have four. <laughs> Don't play hard to get, little bit. <laughs> oh, shit. Bitch. bitch. <laughs> Back off me, son! But even Mike, like, Mike, <laughs> do you get what I'm saying when I say that? Like, it, there's less at stake. I understand everything that you're saying every time you say things, Jonathan. I'm so on board, and I'm loving it. But, uh, better question then, do you agree with what I just said about Jumanji? Thank you, by the way. That means you have no <laughs> idea what it means to me. I'm hiding. I'm hiding my excitement. I'm hiding my excitement. But but uh, because Shit. really, I'd be like, Mike agrees with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm on board. I'm on board 100. Okay. percent I, I feel I feel you totally, man. I do. I sincerely. Yeah, I'm a dog brand, and you know what dogs love to eat? Pizza. No, Pepe, no. Pizza socks. You love that, yeah. Pepe. Do you remember being a kid in the eighties, nineties, whatever? And Hell no. You'd watch, you'd watch. <laughs> well, you of course you don't remember that. You are that that didn't that it wasn't guy. a thing for you. I love that guy. <laughs> but but even sometimes when you're watching like Tasmania, <laughs> whatever. You, you are you talking scenario. about like come to Tasmania? Thank you. Like that. Oh my God, that's that's kind of a deep cut, John. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> These shows and there are little moments here and there where you're like holy crap that's for that moment for just for that moment that's real and that connects and i dude this was this was robin williams milieu though is is, is the was, thing and you were talking you were talking about it at the jump like uh, ev everybody else here on the panel has stories about robin williams being a cool ass fuck. like i also have a, a story 
about Robin Williams being cool, like, which is just I, I, I was just going hey, on Mike. a drive with my sister that lived in uh, lived in San Francisco. We were we were up at the top of the uh, top of a hill. She says, "Oh yeah, that's that's Robin Williams Williams house." So she like so she's just going by, driving by slow. We look up. There's a bear standing in the window of this house. Uh, or at least a, a man wearing a, wearing a carpet of some you, sort. You mean the animal? Or I'm saying the, I'm the saying there was a very stereotype. hairy hirsute man in the window. The stereotype. So Got we it. look up and say, oh, holy shit. That's that's Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Is right he there. notices us looking down and he gives us a big grin. Like, that's it. I'm, I'm just saying, like, you know, the fact that we have a star that recognizes that that makes a point of recognizing the humanity in everybody which you know as as a theme through today's episode i think we can agree is a virtue that we should be promoting in our culture right god mike for well said mike. mike for president um, but, my but yeah yeah this. my response is this do you remember well i have two things the first one is um it was weird because i look in the bottom right hand corner and for half a second well now it's gone but for half a second, <laughs> batista well, well, I thought, yeah. holy yeah, crap, a great headshot of me, but I don't remember <laughs> seeing it. That was A. Um, it might have been you. Because everything is smaller. You. Everything is smaller on, 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 on my phone, right? But then the other, the other thing was, um, do you remember around the time of America's Sweethearts, which is one of my favorite movies, I'm not ashamed to say that, that was um, Julia Roberts, uh, uh that's all you need to say right there. Yep. Fair enough. I, I, I think she's just an incredible actress. That's my Julia. 2001. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> America's Sweethearts. Um, it, what Julia Roberts it, said. Your replacement was, tonight would have been her. But what she. <laughs> that, that's a stretch. But she said something that I really feel like we all need to, all of us, need to grasp nowadays and she said this and i quote i am an ordinary person with an extraordinary job end quote yeah she's she right is, what yeah, she's saying is i'm just as valuable as anybody else and the reason these dirty <laughs> things are happening the reason people are treating some people like they're above the law over other people is because a lot of people who make a good amount of money and i'm i won't go personally into this but people who make a good amount of money typically tend to treat other people like those other people are worth less and the people who make less Thank money you. than those other people tend to treat those other people like they're worth more well All guess right. what there are more yeah because people. that's how you can feed your family is there by sucking yep. is by sucking up to people that have money like and i have a job i do that every day there are more people that make well, less than three hundred thousand dollars a year than there are who make more than three hundred thousand dollars a year. So if you make less Good than three hundred thousand and you have a boss, Jonathan, you you've more, made your point twelve times. Stop. Fair enough, G. <laughs> Brian, your turn. I love you guys, Jonathan. There it is, Jonathan. Because uh, Rick he, shouldn't take all the flack. By the way, they shouldn't. They shouldn't, Jonathan. What you're saying is true. That's been a big conversation tonight with Diddy. Uh, again, with this franchise, rich people dominate this franchise too. Jumanji, they do. It's a it's a rich person combination. Uh, we lost Mike, but I would say it's this. So at the end of the day, it's rich for you. It's a rich conversation. I would say this. So at the end of the day, uh -huh. Jumanji three is amazing. I, I'm excited. I know you guys are. Second one was like this, but Jumanji 3 could be a great tie-in to the original. Edit it all up, but please, at the end of the day, don't give us a CGI Robin Williams. Don't do it! Because I can see that being a thing. Don't do it. Wrap it up in a nice bow. Let us go into the distance. And at the end of the day, just give us something that's fun, entertaining, and uh and worth a third movie yo player if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we are live and if you are able to join our patreon please join because the pep star needs more snickety snacks because i'm hungry holla back love y'all